Good morning, friends. Happy February 1st. Uh, this is unexpected, right? Um, I was asked by a couple of students uh, to do a morning meeting today because I am still home um, from having foot surgery and I will not be going back to my classroom until February 14th. And so I am missing out on Groundhog Day. So um, a couple of my kids who are not able to be at school today wanted to be a part of the little Groundhog Day um, vote that we're doing in our classroom today. So I decided I would do a morning meeting for them. And everybody seemed to really like them back in 2020. Uh, I'm probably not as funny or cute as I was two years ago, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. So this is my Groundhog Day is almost here. Um, quick little morning meeting. So did you know that Groundhog Day actually falls on February 2nd for a reason. It is what's called a crosshatch day, which means it's right exactly in the middle of two seasons. So in this case, it is um, in between the winter solstice and the spring equinox, and that's why it falls on February 2nd. So that's my first fun fact for my kids. Um, the second fun fact that I really liked that I learned was, and it's kind of funny, um, groundhogs also are called whistle pigs. And the reason they're called whistle pigs is because when they like each other, they whistle. And I thought that was really funny. <laughs> I like the idea of them just being like, hey, whoo, whoo. So anyway, I thought that was funny. My third fun fact about Groundhog Day is that um, Phil who was single for many years. I don't, so Punxsutawney Phil is the name of the groundhog that predicts the weather. He does not do a very good job with it, unfortunately. He thinks he's only been right 39% of the time. I think that's correct. 39% of the time, which is not much, but um, he, uh, he's been alone for a very long time. And Phil now has a wife. I love this. Her name is Phyllis, <laughs> which is so perfect. Um, my grandmother, who was like literally the love of my life, is also named Phyllis. So this just thrills me beyond belief. And um, this is the other thing I love about this. So Phil and Phyllis, uh, when they're not prognosticating the weather, um, they actually live at the Punxsutawney Library. Uh, hello, do you know how happy I would be if I got to live at the library? I would literally never leave. It's gotten to the point where I'm really not supposed to be buying any more books because I've run out of book shelf space. It's a huge problem. I have stacks and stacks of books um, in piles and um, oh my god, I love books so much. So if I had to live at the library, uh, which I practically did when I was little, but um, I would be really happy. So for my students who uh, asked for this, I would love for you to let me know what you think uh, is going to happen tomorrow. Is Phil going to see his shadow or not? So if you aren't sure, and I always used to get this mixed up when I was a kid because it seemed like the opposite to me, but now I understand how to remember it. So if Phil sees his shadow, that means it's sunny outside. He sees his shadow, it scares him, and he goes back in the hole, and that means six more weeks of winter. So I used to think shadow, sun, spring is coming. No. If he sees his shadow, he gets scared, goes back in the hole, six more weeks of winter. If he does not see his shadow, then that means that spring is coming early. And we're in for a couple of nice days of weather up here in upstate New York, thank goodness, because it's been horrifically cold. And um, my husband and I have not had water. Um, we've had water, I think, two, two or three days out of the past good two weeks. It's been unbelievable. We had a pipe burst in our ceiling. Um, we've had our water pipes completely frozen for, for first time was for six days at a time. The next time was for two days at a time. It's just been unbelievable. Our ceiling collapsed. Um, our boiler started, uh, spewing water. Everything that could go wrong has been going wrong because of this cold weather, we think. But anyway, um, I hope everybody else is safe and sound and I hope you have an awesome February 1st and uh, let me know your thoughts. What's your idea for tomorrow? You think he's going to see it or not? Okay, peace out.